Yo YouTube, what's going on? Welcome to another video to the channel, y'all boys. And today, I'm going to go ahead and give you guys the top 10 best strikers of FIFA 23 Ultimate Team at this stage of the game, in my personal opinion. Once again, guys, this is just based off my experience, the players that I've tried out, and the players that I've went against. Uh, go ahead and join me in the comment section down below. Who is your favorite striker that you used in FIFA 23? And let me know if you guys feel like I left out somebody on the list. Um, for today's list, just like the other videos, gonna include all types of cards when it comes to icons, foot heroes, informs, all types of special cards. It's gonna include central position based players and maybe players if they play down the wing and their secondary position is a striker. With that being said, first honorable mention right now. All right, so first honorable mention is going to be 91 rated human son, world to the world cup, six foot high, medium right foot, four star skill moves, five star weak foot, 90 pace, 91 shooting, 86 passing, 89 dribbling, 75 physicality, and he has a finesse shot trade. Um, I was a huge fan of human son's gold card earlier in the year. So I can only imagine how good this card is. Links are maybe a little bit questionable. Obviously, it links to a lot of prem players. But when it comes to finishing, that's one of the best things I love about this card. And it's heel to heel animation. Second honorable mention is going to be 88 rated World Cup stories. Marcus Rashford, 6'1", medium low. Right foot, 5 star skimmers, 4 star weak foot. 92 pace, 87 shooting. 82 passing, 86 dribbling. 81 physicality, no traits in game. I'm really glad that they gave a Rashford card that upgraded the weak foot. That automatically makes him much more usable and much more meta uh, with a good pace. Good dribbling for his height. Really great physicality. Probably the thing that hinders the card from being even better and higher up on this list is that attack position and finishing. But he has 97 short power to make it up at least. Now coming in number 10 is a card that I reviewed earlier this year and I really am a huge fan of this card. 91 World Cup icon Emilio Butragueño, 5'6 medium low, right foot, 4 star skill moves, 5 star weak foot, 93 pace, 89 shooting, 80 passing, 91 dribbling, 69 physicality, he has the finesse shot trait as well, amazing left stick dribbling, amazing dribbling in general, he finishes mostly everything, great pace on and off the ball, makes amazing runs, this is one of my favorite cards this year guys, he is so so fun to use man he i highly recommend you guys get this guy if you haven't tried him out already now coming in number nine is going to be that world cup icon eto 510 high low right foot four star skin moves five star weak foot 93 pace 92 shooting 82 passing 89 dribbling 82 physicality both finesse shot and outside the foot shot trade now the thing with this card guys is that i'm using eto's mid version and i'm a huge huge fan of the card so I can only imagine how much better this card is with the five star weak foot upgrade guys. When it comes to Eto, he has amazing finishing, great pace, really good dribbling for someone with his height and body type in game, and good physicality as well, man. Basically like a better version of Butraglenio. Now coming number eight is going to be 90 rated inform Neymar, five nine high medium right foot, double five star combination, 88 pace, 85 shooting, 86 passing, 94 dribbling, 63 physicality, outside the foot shot trade. Um, Neymar is going to be Neymar, guys, no matter how much of a downgrade, like I said in the previous video that they did to the card, I still think he's one of the best cards in FIFA. He's still very meta when it comes to dribbling, being able to pass with both feet and able to shoot with both feet as well. So definitely can't go wrong with the card since he has good links as well. Now coming in number seven, it's going to be World Cup Icon Eusebio. 5'9", high, medium, right foot, four star skin moves, five star weak foot, 93 pace, 94 shooting, 80 passing, 92 dribbling, 77 physicality, no shooting traits in game. I've went against this card a couple times, never used it, but every time I go against him, he gives me a problem. And we all know Eusebio's body in game. We all know the type of player that he is. He's always a very dangerous player in the final third. Scores almost everything in the box, man. With those pace, shooting, and dribbling stats, you definitely cannot go wrong with the card. Now, coming in number six is going to be 91 rated rule breakers Cristiano Ronaldo, 6'2, high low, right foot, five star skill moves, four star weak foot, 83 pace, 89 shooting, 80 passing, 90 dribbling, 78 physicality. And he has outside the foot shot trade, gray links as well. Um, obviously, I'm still a huge fan of gold CR7, I use him as a super sub. But even with the rule breakers, obviously a better version than the gold. You cannot go wrong with this card, man. CR7 does not miss in the box. He scores 
absolutely everything. Obviously with that great physicality as well, a great option at the striker position. Now coming number five is going to be 89 rated foot heroes, David Ginola, 6'1 high medium right foot, double five star combination, 90 pace, 88 shooting, 87 passing, 91 dribbling, 84 physicality. He has no shooting traits in game. Ginola is just that guy. There's a reason all the pros use him for events and stuff. There's a reason this car is still over a million coins. Just one of the best strikers. He finishes almost everything. Like I said before, he's basically like a budget R9 and with very obviously good links as well because footy heroes have the best links in FIFA. Coming number four is going to be that World Cup icon Johan Cruyff 5'11 high low right foot double five star combination 91 pace 90 shooting 89 passing 94 dribbling 73 physicality outside the foot shot trade. I reviewed this card earlier this year. Huge fan of Cruyff just like every single year. I felt like Cruyff was a little bit suspect at times when it came to the shooting maybe it's because of that 82 shot power but other than that the card is still amazing when it comes to the dribbling pace the creativity basically like a better version of neymar in my opinion is the best way i can put it you cannot go wrong with this card if you want to use them coming number three is going to be that road to the world cup killian and Bappe 93 overall six foot high low right foot five star skill moves four star weak foot 98 pace 91 shooting 84 passing 94 dribbling 80 physicality outside the foot shot trade. Basically, with this card compared to Cruyff, Kylian Mbappe, Mbappe, in my opinion, is better than every single aspect of the game when it comes to Cruyff, except maybe the fact that Cruyff has five-star weak foot, but when it comes to pace, shooting, dribbling, if not dribbling, physicality, Mbappe is much better. I've tried them both. I prefer Mbappe this year compared to Cruyff. Maybe, obviously, when a better version of Cruyff comes out, we'll have to see, but for now, Mbappe at third, I think it's justifiable. Now, coming in number two is going to be a card that's getting a lot of hype and deservedly so. 96 rated Pele, 5'8 high medium, right foot, 5 star skill moves, 4 star weak foot, 96 pace, 94 shooting, 92 passing, 95 dribbling, 75 physicality, and he has the finesse shot trade. Pele is going to be Pele, guys, every single year of FIFA. He is just so good. Look at those stats. Everything is 90 plus, basically, when it comes to the shooting, dribbling, and pace. Even good physicality, even somebody with his height, he has really good physicality. Um, I'm the type of person that prefer Cruyff over Pele, but this year, it's looking like Pele is slightly better. And number one, I think this is a no-brainer. I think this is another no-brainer similar to the center backs video. The best striker of FIFA 23 Ultimate Team at this stage of the game, and probably until like team of the season, 95 rated World Cup icon R9. Six foot, medium, medium right foot double five star combination 95 pace 94 shooting 80 passing 94 dribbling 78 physicality finesse shot trade as well not really much to say when it comes to r9 man he does everything correctly when it comes to finishing the attack positioning the shot power the dribbling the body type the binding defenders the physicality the perfect and complete striker you want in your team obviously he's way too much coins but he has way too much coins for R9, but he's arguably, in my opinion, the best striker of FIFA 23. But yeah, guys, there goes my list of the best strikers of FIFA 23 at this stage of the game, in my opinion. Let me know if you feel like I left out a striker. I probably left out a couple. My apologies if, if you feel some type of way, but we're going to have different playing styles and different experiences with certain cards. Um, the next time I'm going to do the set of top 10 videos will be probably in two months, a little bit after Team of the Year. And yeah, thank you guys so much for supporting all these videos. You guys are amazing. I hope you guys all have a beautiful day or night wherever you're at. It's been your boy Dan FIFA, and I'm out. Bye-bye.